Hello and welcome to this broadcast. My name is Jeremiah Zioka and it's a great privilege. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I was recently requested or I recently had the privilege of speaking in an online fellowship uh, hosted by a Kenyan uh, group of young people. It's called Ngune, uh, Youth for Christ. It's a group led by Simon Moema, uh, my friend, uh, you know, from the days when we were at the University of Nairobi. And it's a wonderful group of young people who are, you know, who are helping each other uh, to live for Christ. And so they requested me to recently share with them on servant leadership. And I had the privilege of sharing on this subject in their uh, online fellowship. And what I did is that I shared some knowledge that I received uh, from a book that I have been reading, a, a book by John Stanko. Uh, it's, a, it's entitled So Many Leaders, uh, So Little Leadership. Uh, Beyond the Power of Position Lies the Price of Leadership. Uh, it's published, of course, in Nairobi by Water Life Publishers to the year 2000. Listen, uh, I, sh I would like to share a summary of some of the things that I have learned in this book, some of the things that I had the opportunity to share with, with Nguni Youth for Christ. And thank you so much, Simon, for, for the privilege, uh, you know, of offering me an opportunity to speak with your team. Uh, and so the author in here says that there's a scarcity of effective leadership, and this is a true observation, in the world and in the present day. And he says that there have been many books on leadership, but there is yet, uh, we are yet to have a solution when it comes to leadership. There's a scarcity of true leadership. And so the, uh, what he observes, he correctly observes that there has been a rise uh, in authoritarian leadership styles that have contributed to the to failure in leadership. Uh, what he is saying is that uh, there are many leaders in the world, too many leaders, but very few who are showing or manifesting what leadership really is. And according to John Stanko, uh, leadership is about service. The leader exists to serve the organization and not the other way around. We have a traditional concept of leadership where it is the organization or the people that serve the leader. And that's a worldly concept. That's what we have in most of our worldly, uh, worldly influenced concepts of leadership. But when we look into the Bible and when we, when we look in history, when we search persons of great impact, persons who led and there were, you know, amazing results, we will always go back to persons who were servant leaders. Uh, even if we were not to use the Bible, if we use our history, uh, we will mention particular leaders who we always talk about and it is because they were servant leaders. You know, we talk of people like Nelson Mandela. We talk of people like Mahatma Gandhi. We talk of people like, uh, 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 you know, Martin Luther King. We talk of great people of impact. And when we, when we investigate properly, you realize that they were not bossy authoritarian uh, leaders. They were leaders of service, servant leaders. And so I agree with, uh, with, with John Stanko when he says that... Uh, the leader exists to serve the organization and not the other way. So John Stango therefore advises that leaders should develop their leadership skills uh, while giving a significant attention uh, to the need for leaders to sacrifice personal interests for corporate interests. And this, according to the album, is the greatest price that a leader must pay. The greatest price of leadership is that you sacrifice personal interests 
so that the organization can succeed. Uh, it, but, but what we are seeing in most circles, and especially political circles, and maybe even in other circles, because uh, we are human, we are seeing a situation where the leader is driven by selfish ambition to satisfy selfish, uh, you know, self-advancement uh, agendas. But what Jesus teaches in the Bible is the opposite, where the leader has to serve and sacrifice. You know what, friends, I'm going to make this a series, and I intend to do it, uh, you know, to take us through this book. It's a small book, but with powerful leadership concepts. And I, I realize that I need to make this a series because we can't exhaust the book right now. So I will do a, 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 you know, I will do a volume two of this and I will share it right here on this YouTube channel. So you could, uh, you could keep on uh, following us. Thank you for those of you who are already subscribers and I invite those of you who have not subscribed to subscribe and let us share the message you know, that comes from Jesus, the message of servant leadership, the message of hope and victory in Christ. My name is Jeremiah. Uh, I'm an economist and a pastor. Uh, my origin is Kenya, uh, but currently I'm in the United Kingdom. And I thank you so much for joining us today. Remember to comment on any idea that you have or in any way you think that we can make this better. You can, you know, write a comment down there and we will definitely interact. Alternatively, you can send me directly, uh, send a message to me directly uh, through my email that I'm sharing on the screen and we'll be able to have a conversation or a number of conversations. Thank you so much and until next time, may God keep you. Bye-bye.